For transverse waves in a string, the wave speed can be found using this equation, V equals to square root of the tension divided by mass per unit length. I'm using F sub T instead of capital T for tension to avoid confusion because the capital T is also used for period in this unit. The mass per unit length is called the linear density of the string. This is not the same as the density or volume density that is the mass per unit volume. I'm not going to derive this equation, but let's look at it qualitatively. The larger the tension in the string, the faster the speed. The bigger the mass per unit length of the string, the slower the speed. In order for a wave to propagate, this disturbance has to move down the slinky. The higher the tension in the slinky, the stronger the force pulling the next segment upward. F equals to ma. The larger the force, the larger the acceleration. Therefore, the faster the wave speed down the slinky. Because F equals to ma, for the same force, the bigger the m, the smaller the acceleration. Therefore, the heavier the rope, the slower the speed. And remember that I said wave speed mainly depends on the medium? That's because frequency and amplitude may have some minor effect on the speed. For example, when this slinky oscillates with large amplitude, it stretches a bit more so the tension gets a little higher and the mass per unit length gets a little less, so the speed can change slightly. Now let's try this problem. The 0.1 kilogram 5 meter long uniform rope has a 2 kilogram block hung on it over a pulley. Find a the speed of a transverse wave in this rope and b the time it takes for a wave pulse to travel from the wall to the pulley. The speed of a transverse wave in a rope is the square root of the tension divided by mass per unit length. In this case, the tension is provided by this hanging block. Since the block is 2 kilograms, the tension is 20 newtons. The mass of the rope is 0.1 kilograms. The length is 5 meters, so the mass per unit length will be 0.1 divided by 5. So this gives us... 20 times 5 divided by 0.1, so it is the square root of uh, 1,000, which gives us uh, 31.6 meters per second. That's the answer for part A. Part B, the time it takes for a wave pulse to travel from this end to there is the distance traveled divided by the speed. The distance is 4.5 meters, not 5 meters. So it's 4.5 divided by the speed, 31.6. The time is 0.142 seconds. So that's the answer in part B. Part C, if we wish to have the time in part B, what mass block should be hung at the end of the rope? Time is the distance traveled divided by the speed. The distance traveled is still the same. So the time is proportional to 1 over speed. And we want the time to be halved. That means we want 1 over v become halved. That means v should be doubled. The speed of a rope is the square root tension divided by mass per unit length. When we change the mass that's hung over here, we change the tension. The mass per unit length of the rope stays the same. So the speed is proportional to the square root of the tension. Since we want the speed to double, that means the square root of the tension has to be doubled. That means the tension must be quadrupled because we just have to square both sides to get 2 squared, that's 4. We used to have 2 kilogram block hang hanging over there. Now we want 4 times the mass, so it's 8 kilograms.